I guess I want saves on. Right. Um, and should be fine. Let's get right into it. The end is never the end is never the end is loading. Is loading never. Huh. Um. Uh, is the loading normally this long? Okay. This? No, wait. I clicked immediately. Sensitivity is too high, man. Uh, turn it. Just turn it off. Really, basically. Yeah, there we go. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Dude, look at this. We're going fucking nuts. We're going fucking nuts. What? There it is. Sheesh. Am I still at the computer? Schmutz on there. Audio too loud, maybe. All right. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I just saw that. Yeah, this is the type of computer my grandfather used to have. This is the first... <laughs> Never mind. Wow. It's beautiful. The whites are very, uh, white. I can't read it. I can't zoom in anymore. I can only crouch. You know what? I'm gonna turn off every computer I can every computer I can get my hands on, dude. I'm tired of these people. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Nor did it advance the story in any way. You don't know that, Dick. He doesn't know that. Don't listen to him. Time is it? It's uh. 
about 11 25. Does this does the minute hand move? Dude, the minute hand moves. Every four second takes it moves. It's about to be eleven twenty six. Stanley stood for a long time in one spot. It's part of a game. He likes to see how long he can go without dying. No, I'm trying to see it get to excellent. And if he just stays, oh, God. I'm sure he'll keep up that good momentum. Let's observe the genius at work. I just, I wanted to see it turn 12, uh, 1126. Also, let me, uh. Put that up there. Did I crash the game, dude? Did I? Oh, no, okay, it's here. Oof. All right. Someone spilt their coffee. Fuel? Someone spilled their fuel. Oh, I have control now, boy. I'm gonna shut all the doors. I can't shut that door. You open this one? No. I can shut that one. I can mess with this one. Can you get this one? No. Look, it's a graph. It's a uh, sales in this quarter. Um, went down, started going back up, and then now they're at an all time low. Uh, this says this does not. This does not make sense. Because it says. April, May, June, Mar Marum? What? Margin? Projections were up, were way up. That didn't happen though. When Stanley came oh. to the set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <clears throat> um, no. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. No, I can't go back? But I take it back. Ugh. Kind of bullshit, but okay. What if I just wanted to be a precocious little scamp? What's going on in there? 8B9? What number was I? Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. Oh, yeah. Had it really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. <coughs> Journal of something to lounge, something to lounge, yes, day 41. Really, really worth it being here. In what the is it? Room so utterly captivating that even though all your co workers have mysteriously vanished, uh. here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. No, I wasn't looking at the paintings. I wasn't even looking at. You're a liar, dude. I was trying to figure out what that note said. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. No, dude. It's possible that this is why. The fifth annual. No, dude. The fifth annual subcommittee meeting of internal revenue analysis for committees of the Royal Revenue Stanley Discussions sat Club. waiting for more dialogue, but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was. Recommendations from the overnight oversight committee. The committee on oversight. Yeah, 
Can't get any soda. Can't jump. But at last, no. he had enough of the amazing room and Light took the change. first open door on his left to get back to business. Did I? This door? Not this one? Do not lie. If you're lying right now, stop. Stanley was so bad at following directions. Oh, dude. Well, he wasn't five years ago. Come on, man. Well, why'd you shut the door behind me? I, did, I, I didn't say I was going to stay here forever. I just wanted to check it out. Have a look. What's going on in here? Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. It will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift is $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the lift is $5,000. I need a key card. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing in your. I just want to do what I want to do, man. Difficult, but the fact is that the story. Oh wait! Nothing but I can jump off. On, I can jump on. I can jump onto the rafters, dude. Someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? Yeah. In the middle of something, do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know. I'm just chilling, dude. But I really I'm just, do want to help you. To listen, you I'm just beautiful. I'm Look, this is beautiful. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Oh no. Danger everywhere. I don't know if I should give him a chance. Can't shut that door. He can shut that door. Well, I mean... <gasps> I'm gonna take the red door. listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Well, yeah, because I'm, I mean, <laughs> I'm red-pilled, so obviously I go to the red door. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to No, me. I'm red-pilled. see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time. Really? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the, the way two you of us right are? Now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just, I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just stopped. Oh, stop. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. I stopped. Oh. Huh. Just for me? That's a, that's a black hole, dude. I'm gonna go through this one. What? Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. Not much space to move in here. Dude, is this... Is this the galaxy? Here. Yes. Dude. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is. Where's the door? Right in this moment, with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> Dude, same. Can we stay here forever? Oh, look, there's stuff on the... That's cool. 
Oh, this is a fucking background on my computer. Oh. It's beautiful, dude. Oh, green lights now. Where are the sparkly boys? change again? If I go to the middle, does it change? It's all getting blurrier. Yeah, I think I'm happy like this. I'm just gonna... What? I'm just gonna jump up. I'm just gonna... I can't! Oh, oh! Dude, pink now? It's so beautiful, man. Ooh, they're coming real close. to my I still can't jump off I think this it won't let me I'm trying <clears throat> it's not happening oh wait now I thought I saw stars but that's just dust on my screen I like it here it's beautiful oh, do the stars are coming back oh these things again there's they're a little bit different now. That's so cool, man. Yeah. Not that you care, but I was uh, just uh, I was just grabbing a minute of that to use as my uh, to use as like a background or something. Pretty sick. All right, I don't think I don't think there's anything else to do here. I think we gotta ruin it. I think we have to end it. We have to end it all. No, wait. Where are you going? Oh, yeah, you're right. 
Right. Where were we? He likes it here, dude. I can't blame him. I like it here, too. This is almost as blissful as just woodcutting in RuneScape. Alright, I gotta go. Sorry, man. You have to end it. It's not dirt. Dirty stuff here. Why is there paint on the floor? Oh no! Stay away from those stairs! If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset! We'll lose all of this! We won't be able to go back to the... We won't get this again? Good, good. We can't be too safe. Promise me you won't go back there. Hmm? Just, just stay here. I do. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, buddy. I, uh, I do like this. This area is really nice. Wait, wait. If I play the game, I'll die? No. What do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. What do we achieve here? We have to do it, man. We can't just, uh, we can't just hide from the world. 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 We, the world. we have to do it. You heard me before, didn't you? You will die! What about this isn't getting through to you? Sometimes you gotta be a man and you gotta... You gotta do what you know is right. A man does what's right. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here! Don't take this from me! You can stay here. I have to go, though. Stanley, think about what you're doing. I have thought about it. That's what we have to do. <sighs> no! Oh, thank what? God. You lived. You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? I was ready to die, though. Stanley, please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? I'm, I'm getting video. I'm just getting B-roll, dude. I'm just getting B-roll, man. I just had to get I had to get some B-roll, dude. Okay, come on. Let's go back to the let's go back to the room. It's beautiful in that room, dude. It's fucking it's the best it's the best shit I've ever felt in my life. Come on man. We we got this. Look, me and you, buddy. Look! It's here. There. See? This is what you want. This is where we can both be happy. We really can. If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. Stop moving.
It's like I did die, and I went to heaven. All right. It's over. We're doing it. Stanley. Nope, we're ending it. There's nothing good that can come from this. I know, but we gotta do it. Come on. You come with me, buddy. Do you just not believe me? What can I say to convince you? We have to go back to our purpose, okay? It was it was it was beautiful while we had it, okay? Let's take a last sip of Dr. Pepper before we die. Let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? I can't do that. Disembodied voice. Michael, Made up my mind. Is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? No. You're literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? No, I'm giving us a purpose, okay? If we don't have something to do, our lives are meaningless. One more sip. Stop. Well, maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. We are getting along. Come on. Looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. No, dude. Trust me. Trust me, we'll be happier. We'll be happier after this. Well, you know, let's go. Let's go visit heaven first. Let's... You know what? Maybe the voice is. Maybe I was. Maybe I was overreacting. Maybe. You know, maybe. Um. No. No. Yeah. No. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe a dream machine is all we really wanted. Alive, or are you just teasing me? I just want a glimpse of what it's like before I die. So one last glimpse. This is what it's like to drink Dr. Pepper. I wanted us to be happy here, Stanley. I really did. I wish I still thought that was possible. We have to do it, man. I just wanted one more glimpse. I'm really gonna do it this time. Come on. Don't try to talk me out of it. Don't try to talk me out of it, man. You're not gonna talk me out of it? Is I gonna say anything? I'll really, I'll do it. I'll really do it. <sighs> this is the last one, I think. I hope. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Yeah, we're going back. We lost five minutes. We lost five minutes. It's 11, it's 11.20. Unless I was reading the fucking thing wrong. Or 
27. That's us. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I'm gonna turn off all these computers. I wasn't lying. Oh, whoa, different. What? Input received. I wonder if it's an input received every time we come through. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, you he know me, man. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and you know me, dude. knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour Woo. to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room I know. is now too horrible even to consider. I know. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. You know I didn't do that. I need to know what it's like to stay asleep. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. This really? This one you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you yeah. that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? What? No. I don't know how to convince you. Dude, we know. I really do want to help you. To no, show come you on. something beautiful. No, Watch, come on. Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. I'll try. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Nope. Aha, perhaps you I need to know what it's like to stay asleep. Red door. Oh my god. I need to know what it's like. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. I won't. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. What? Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. What? Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining well, the entire story I'd Well, no, I wanted more. Specifically for you. Well, I think I put a lot of time into that because I did. No, I was. In the end, it was all for nothing because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange well, and unknowable desires of yours. What well, would have made this game better? If there was more, if there's something here. Vehicles, skill trees. Skill trees would be cool. With me, you give me absolutely nothing so far. Well, you won't let me talk, man. Every time I try to stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. Okay. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. That's a pretty nice door. I don't know about you, but uh, that's a pretty cool looking door. Okay, I'm good. Whoa! Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. I'm going to give it a five. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration come from? This is amazing. How did I know the game needed a third Yeah, door? I mean... Well, it's instinct mostly. A calling in your gut. I really mm -hmm. couldn't say where the idea this is came amazing. from, except that I, oh, I felt it in my soul. Yeah. You can't teach That's that, good. Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous <coughs> playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Oh, shit, Let's what now? Let's take a look. 
Oh. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Dude. A leaderboard? Good old Neil, dude. Two seconds. That's crazy. Where am I? Um, where am I? What? What? I'm in last place? Well, my friends... Okay, it's not... My friends list isn't empty, okay? Um... Only the worst 3%... The dead rat is objectively better than me? Wow. Um... Well, we could still... Now, would you say that competitive Whoa. leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. Yeah. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on. Really? Now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. I wouldn't mind. Let's go. A look at it, would you? Yeah, where is it? Let me boot it up. What, what's uh, the game? In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. Oh, okay. Push the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. Okay. It's all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. Okay. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. Four so hours. You give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective. Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Um. You heartless bastard. Yeah, I didn't really... Because you hate babies or... I didn't really care about me. this game. Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I don't know, I it was... think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I mean, I wasn't going to play for five hours, dude. I'm I done. could be skilling. It's over. What do you mean? Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, really? hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see... Should we, should we play Portal? Should we play Portal 4? Should we play some... This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. What can we... Well, Stanley, is this any better? Dude, yes! Last, the one thing you've yeah, I can't climb. Desired. I can't a jump. Game I had absolutely nothing to uh, do. How do I turn on a uh, auto jump? But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, well I mean, how do I... I'm making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Okay. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. What about me? <laughs> this will go here. No, here. And then... Yeah, this isn't... Let's see, what does Did it... He... I, uh, yes, of course, and just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. Dude. Stanley, look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but what? you've only seen it from the outside. You've only got... Well, I, dude, experience. motherfucker's almost Stanley's gonna get the green art. top. He's like, no, this is just temporary, by the way. Oh, isn't it grand? Oh. Shut the door, dude. Still in the draft, then. Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Oh, diamond? Can we go? Are you going to take me to the mine? Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Oh, okay. Be careful with when I descend. Dude, this runs way smoother than Minecraft. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? No. Uh-uh. I don't have one. Uh, 
Oh, gotta, no, 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 no. I don't use. I don't use. Uh, I had in mind. No, no, we're good. For something more narrow and linear. No, 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 something we're good. We're good. I like this. Utterly irrelevant. This would. No, dude. I, I, I would have played God of, God of War. Diamonds couldn't save this one. No, I would have played God of War if we. If I wanted to play something linear, I would have played like a like a like a story game. Portal. Portal lanes? Dude, it is Portal! <laughs> yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You tripped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. It's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. You're genius. Actually, you know what? what? I think that's plenty. Oh, I like, where's my to see you stumble through any more of these games? What about my radio? Dad, you're any wiser for the experience. What about 85.2 FM? Then continue to waste my time. I'm just going to leave you here. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. So, why don't you get cozy in this room and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the perfect video game, you can just sit there and let it ball up inside you for all eternity. I don't need your advice. I don't need your ratings. And I certainly don't need the validation of a man whose job is to push buttons. I think I'll just go about my business making meaningful cultural contributions to the world. And perhaps every now and then, I'll think back to a man named Stanley who was objectively wrong in every decision he ever made. The thought won't last long. Goodbye, Stanley. Okay. Good luck with your work. I right, see you. I sincerely hope that everyone lives happily ever after. You really gonna leave me here, dude? Gonna bring the music with me? Where's the radio? What about the... Where's the music? <laughs> um... Is that a ledge down there? Oh! It looked like there was a... Oh, shit. Okay. Um... It's carpeted. That's new. Okay. He didn't uh, finish. He didn't finish making this. Uh, we get a little sneak peek. A little. Uh, that's the break room, dude. Is this the break room? No, not really. Maybe we could probably go this way. I don't know, man. It's... Um... Normally I have... Notifications allowed. Maybe that'll fix it. <coughs> I only have notifications allowed in streamer mode. Oh shit, dude. Dude, he's got like four monitors. I want one. I only have three. I think that was my guild Discord. 427 is us. Dude, this is us. This is me.
Okay, so come out here. Where do I go now, though? Wait, what? I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. What do you He'll mean? understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. You don't That's know that. How do you know that? That is what I mean to this world. You don't know oh, that. Yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. How long are you going to wait for? Well, the end is never the end. It's never loading. Oh, dude, this looks so much different. They've widened up the hallway. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. People don't turn off their freaking computers, man. Don't worry, I got this. Let's see if this one, uh... Oh, now it's awaiting input here. Oh. I have to keep doing that, then. Oh, what if we get into this room? What if we loop enough times that we get to go into here? That'd be sick. Anything going on here? No? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, <coughs> and Stanley knew it perfectly. I need to know what happens if I don't Perhaps jump off the lift. by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I know, I'm sorry man, but listen. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first no. open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. It's fine. Okay. Real quick. It's getting a little warm in my room. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we get on the lift. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize it. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control oh. of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks Thanks. You're very powerful. I am. Okay. Listen. I realized I I realized Huh? What about the computers? I have to input received or whatever. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What about my computers? The correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps Wait, this isn't the way. By the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Why is the Stanley hallway longer? This incredible room. Stanley, for the first time, understood true happiness. Really? Then the feeling went away, and he oh, felt sad. Yeah. Then it came back and lingered for a minute or two. Really? Now it's only half there. Oh. Just a kind of, um, oh. tingle. Yeah, that's kind of like what real life feels like. But eager to like get that. back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. What's up, buddy? Current topic. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's topic. incredible he wasn't five years ago. <laughs> I think, uh... Well, I plunged to my death, I jumped off the lift, and went through the red door, and then I went through the blue door. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. Well, I don't think I that you are, dude, I just want to explore. in someone else can be difficult, I the fact code. is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Uh, Pre-roll ads are disabled for 32 minutes, boys. 
Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking okay. for me. I'm asking for her. It was her. Who's her? Standing. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. I haven't. Who's she, dude? Is she in here? Who is she? I wanna know. I wanna. I wanna know who she is. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. I got it. Reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Sweetie, sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Really? All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. What? No, man. <laughs> gotcha. What? Oh, come what? on. Did you actually think you had a loving one? Yeah. They'd want to commit their life to you. I... I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. I can make do. I can... I can work with this. This is a very sad story about... Where's my loving trad wife? No, dude! Good morning, employee 427. Press H on your key... I don't want to. H is gonna commit sewer slide. What the fucking... Bitch wife fucking locked me out of my bedroom again. He always wants me to do something before I can fucking sit in bed, quite dude. A boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential <coughs> nature of his existence. Really? Six? Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's... He's going to turn it into my office. He's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. Stop, Why dude. This is too real. Except that he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his what desk, TV? Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. It was. Each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. What? Oh, he watched TV. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. What? First, he imagined that I knew they were gonna they're gonna turn my work into my office, dude. That all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Really? Spend some time with the boys. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. Yeah, I was going to go to the right. It mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was I almost too wonderful to behold. Um... Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. 32 months. How's it going, buddy? Um, I guess I'd prepare. What if they get rid of my wife, though? As he wandered through this oh, fantasy world, he began as long to as she's still here. possible paths and destinations. Fuck Down God. one path lay an enormous round room. With I only get 250. Controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. A yellow line? Another was a game with a baby. And he called oh, I played the baby game. Parable. Really? Um, where's my kids? Uh, I guess I'll, I guess I'll just tell it to my wife. It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head he relived it again 
and then again, and again. But it's only over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end. Only five thirty. He might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. I love you. But there is no answer. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. <laughs> the longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. She's gone. So we're going to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. I did kill myself Stop. earlier. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. I can follow directions. I don't know. It's not, it's not even hard. Just don't do a... Just don't press the button. Easy peasy. My day was pretty good. I was just... Uh, I was just uh, sleeping. Sleep a lot. Still have COVID. <clears throat> pretty cool. I'm very, very tired all the time, but then I sleep so much that I can't sleep, but I'm still tired, but I can't go to sleep. So my sleep schedule is completely way out of whack. I wake up about 12 hours after I'm supposed to. It's pretty cool. I am. I mean, what kind of job was it? A programmer. Hmm. 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 We can do a lot of clicking and press other buttons. Look, I'm pressing all these other buttons, but not Q. Gotcha. <clears throat> I don't think there's any more to the story if I don't do it. <clears throat> oh yeah. I mean, I guess I gotta go to work in the morning. <laughs> you see? Can he just not hear me? It's been How forever. Can a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself. How can I get him to see what I see? I'm How can I make that. him look at himself? Is there a mirror? I guess I'll question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled wow. to. Imagine not being able to connect to Wi-Fi. Perhaps. Well, maybe this time he'll see. You know some things maybe to tell me about time. RJ? And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed Please a button. Please die! And I tried... What? Oh, I accidentally pressed a button. Oh, 
Ricochet equals Swan equals Wingman Wall? No. I do. That's a joke. Okay. Oh, I can touch my computers now! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Where my input? Input to th input? Received? Input? 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 It's not there anymore. What the heck, man? I mean, there's two RJs. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Do I do? Yeah. Mm. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Yet there was not a single. Oh shit! Uh, uh, code. Read this. Disbelief. Um, decided to go up to his boss's. Talk less. Hoping he might oh, find an answer it's there. It's gone, dude. It's gone. Oh, uh, this is what I do. Uh, using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic as that. Everyone is new, unique, you most of all. I got to read that one. Um, number of slides on this slide. You've got slides, charts, and uh, charts and slides. Stanley just stood there doing nothing at all. No, I'm reading. I have nothing better to do with my time than to sit around and describe every fascinating... Target demographic ability to teenagers. This is why Stanley and I are on such good terms. Rate of increase in glass per side. Please, no more charts. Please, I'm begging. Boss Appreciation Minute. On your Boss Appreciation Minute worksheet, circle the top 20 things you love about your boss. Fill out in triplicate and return to interpersonal conflict. If you ever find yourself in a conflict with another diligent employee like yourself, but more inclined towards conflict, unless you're the kind of person who inflicts what are your dreams? Nature, success, transcend, lunch, travel, metamorphosis, spring break, clear skin, less air, hope, pollution, a boat, mitosis, charts, plant life, football, talk radio, tips for not getting fired, do unbelievably amazing work all the time every day with no expectation of promotion or recognition, and don't get fired. There you go, Code. That's all you have to do. And then let it ball up inside you, take it out passive aggressively on other co-workers, and then resent those co-workers for not supporting you more, and then let it ball up inside you. And then take it out aggressively on... Oh. Yeah, it sounds like your job because your fucking manager's a fucking idiot, dumb, stupid retard. Who is probably one of those managers that literally thinks that people are at the office and they work for the entire eight hours every day. And so whenever he wants you to fill out your timesheet, you have to have time for every single hour of the eight hours of the day. Because obviously, if you were in the office, you'd be getting you'd be getting so much fucking work done and obviously you can't do all that work in like four hours do I want to read this? no I don't care about that there it is this is what you're talking about Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. No, I didn't. Oh, there's cool shit in here, dude. Oh, these boxes. No choice. We have we had these boxes at the warehouse I worked in. We kept like uh, screws and nuts and bolts and stuff in here. Oh, dude, I could get my printer filament here, Alex, right here. It was baffling that Stanley was still. No, that's probably like. Room closet. More like twine, wasn't but... even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. Fuck all, dude. What do you mean? I'm having fun. Look at it. 
Woo! Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Yeah, dude. I'm doing nothing. Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring. No, it's it. fun. It's good in here. I'm having, I'm having a good time. This closet is of absolutely no significance. You can't jump. You can't jump or anything. You just walk around the room, clicking nothing, and clicking nothing makes typing sounds on like an old computer. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching. Place. It is. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friends, you'll say, "Oh, did you get the, the broom closet ending? ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite." XD. I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> nah, dude. Shut that door. Don't let the stank out. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> he probably only got no, dude. Family connection. No. Stupid he is. You don't know that. With drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Yeah, boy. I didn't know this was the fucking Bronson well, parable. Come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here. Uh, of oh yeah. Down your central nervous system, Oh yeah. And you collapsed on the keyboard. Oh, if I collapsed on the keyboard, it would look like this. The responsible thing is to alert someone nearby hey. so as to ensure that your body is taken care of. If and I just open Microsoft Word in the fucking browser. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place. I'm alive, dude. Look, I'm alive. They understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of... Dude, I'm Anno 2 right now, bro. So that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not... All I know is I'm in the broom closet, bro. All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Is that a good question? Is that a good answer to, uh... Any no questions, Jacob? If that if if they say, do you know where you are right now? Can I say in the broom closet? We close uh, Microsoft Word, and I open my documents, and OneDrive isn't signed in. What the fuck? Yeah, I did. Look at her. What are you doing? Hi, puppy. Up, 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 up. Side better for you. Up. Come on. Up. There you go. There you go. You're so cute. Look at how cute you are. Look how cute she is! Look at how cute she is! Oh, my baby. Don't lick my mouth. Right. You want something? Keep you uh, preoccupied? Don't call her dumb, dude. Ah. No, I haven't. Stop, dude. I'm being 
mean? Alright. Is that it? Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. You think so? You too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. <laughs> Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Oh, yeah, baby. <clears throat> Any ending and stop playing the game for five years. Oh, yeah, I think I heard something about that. <clears throat> I don't think he cares anymore after that. Do you think he cares anymore? Psych! <laughs> You'd be so mad. Wow. It, was, it was fun while it lasted. Uh... Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. What's going on in here? Huh? A car in an enclosed Stanley space? Do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post. Okay, dude, listen. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, Lizzie. maybe I am crazy. 69HZ27C. Out of existence in a single Lizzie. moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley really? pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. <laughs> For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did Ooh. doors close automatically behind him? I've been wondering about that. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply yeah. repeating? They were, dude. And he said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. No. It... And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. What he just a... hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming. I'm dreaming. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief. ABC 1112. Finally found an answer, an explanation. Bro. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. Uh, no. He thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go my first. To I've never gotten to the boss's office. Job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to... Dude, no! I'm losing control. Soaring through space on a magical starship, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. Oh, wait, how come I can still see that? So lucid. Oh. And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. It's particularly odd, I mean strange. Describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. Oh. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. Really? How could it be? I was just flying, was Stanley simply Can you explain that? Himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself. Well, obviously. Stanley That's why I sleep in real life. Right now, as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the really? voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was, in fact, a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magic yeah. stars just a moment ago? I did it right there. the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself, too. Surely, I'm afraid if I go into there, then... Wait. He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. Yeah, I'm in control. It was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently 
and he emerged. No, I didn't close my eyes. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world. And my pillow and everything. Fun. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all, it's I, all want. I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I, I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone, wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Like this, right? Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be real. Hear my voice. Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Mm. I died. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Oh, we get to play a new person. Mariella woke up on a day like any oh. other. She arose, got dressed, gathered oh. her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself. And as, then collapsed wait, how does she know that? Sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. That's me, dude. One knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was sure? comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important... Yeah whose impressions of her would affect her career and by okay, go get to it the rest of her life yeah go, go, go to your meeting this so it was only a moment that she stood there staring down at the body and then she turned and ran that's kind of sus to be honest kind of sus dude i swear one of these times i'm going to be able to type something dude One of these. Phone's ringing. Hello? Good morning. Thank you morning. for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. Uh -huh. We are confirming your shipment of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. Yeah. Can you verify that this is correct? Yes. Excellent. Yep. Your order will arrive shortly. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. No problem. Uh, don't call back, because... Um, my boss hates long distance calls. Can I get my fifth, my fourth input? No! Damn it, dude. I had three! Yeah, 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 yeah. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm gonna blow th watch this. This is be I'm gonna do um conference conference room speedrun. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley to go up to his boss. Oh no, oh no 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 not Yeah again, boy encourage you i'm not going to say anything at you're all. saying it right now I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room i like the crouch Please and like take your time pretend to be a dolphin look at this like that okay coming to a staircase stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office But Stanley just couldn't do it. 
He considered the possibility of facing his boss. Admitting he had left his post during work hours, he might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished? His boss would think he was crazy. And then... No! To Stanley. No! Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a... No, dude. For no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. I just... For I thought there was something else down here. ...see his feet when he looked down. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply... Dude, wait. No, Stanley said to himself. It's all scripted, like, as if I kept walking, but I stayed by the garage. Last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! He yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a dream. Dude, I'm dreaming! He found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He I'm wasn't saying right here. after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life. You probably can't skip this, huh? I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't Ooh. asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice, voice in my head, head dictating, dictating everything, everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing, describing itself, itself being considered, considered by Stanley, who found, who found it particularly strange. strange. I'm, I'm dreaming about, about a voice describing me, thinking about how it was describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams... Did it? Does it? Of course. This was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Uh, Stanley is <coughs> awake right now. I, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in this until it ends, I guess. Now, hearing the voice I guess we're never going back downstairs again. To Stanley. After all, he knew for certain beyond a doubt that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely. Surely, if he could just... He would prove it. I'll prove it. He would prove that he was in control. Yeah. That this was a dream. Yep. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. Oh no. The cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press of the mattress on his back. The fresh air Keep typing. Of the world outside this one. Keep typing. Let me wake up. Now we're gonna have him typing. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. Keep typing. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My no, I'm not sleeping. I'm typing. I am normal. Everything, Everything will be fine. fine. I am okay. Okay. Stanley began screaming. Please, Please someone, someone wake, wake me up. up. My, My name, name is Stanley. Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I'm I am real. I must, I must be real. I must be. Can you even hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. It's the soft drinks, man. You gotta be careful with that shit. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Oh, I can't skip it. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, 
for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am, I am in control. control of my mind. I know what is real and, and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. <clears throat> Very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Ran, dude. She did not give a shit. All right. Well, we know that we can't go down the stairs anymore. There's a dead end. All of his co-workers. The boxes are here. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. We got the boxes. Hey, uh, we got the boxes. Servo knows we uh, we got the boxes in today. We got them. Any boxes? We got the boxes here. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he yeah, entered the, the door one on his left. left. This chapstick has got a uh, peppermint oil in it. Yet there was not a single like burning my lip. Either. Feeling my lips were burning. Disbelief. Stan Dude, uh, up to his boss's office. What? He might find an answer there. I can't go in there at, at all anymore. Fucking rip off, man. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. All right, here we go. Ooh. Can't go to the executive bathroom. Oh, can I go in there now? No. Right. It's probably the office. What's going on over here? Can't go in there. What's going on on this uh, computer? There it is. I've I've done the input. I'm about to sneeze. I ruined it. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that uh -huh. his boss had been keeping from him. What and is so it? the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. Oh, I actually got uh, two of the numbers. Well, I tried to do two, five. I got half the numbers. By simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code. Uh, well, I was trying to do two, five, eight, four or something like that. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. What? Oh, shit. Okay. Really? Okay. Going down. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why though? He feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Go back up. 
Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? It didn't let me jump off on the, um, in the in the in the in the in the in the, in the uh, red pill area either. Dumb. It's clearly space. Oh, I thought I actually accidentally double jumped up. There you go. Nice. Somehow. Can I get off of here. No. What's that down there? Oh, it probably comes up. Now the monitors jump to life, Ooh. their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The Where am I? So many individuals reduced to... Uh, I couldn't find my number. And Stanley, one of Which them, one was mine? eternally monitored in this place that me? where freedom meant nothing. Is that me? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, nothing. Okay, um, 4427. That's me, right there. Huh, I'm not there. And that guy's fired. That guy's fired, too. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this oh. time? Was this the only reason he was happy oh. with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It <laughs> was unthinkable, wasn't it? Wasn't was it? it possible? Had he know. truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power yeah. over the human life. For he would dismantle the controls once What's the three for? for all. One, two. There's one, two. What if I, what if I press it? One, two, no, four. Is there more than four? Four, I press it. I don't see anything different. It's down there. 
this? Oh, you won't let me pick it. Five. There's five. Is there six? I only saw five now. Zero five two one. Zero five two. One zero one four two. Is there a zero? Nothing, nothing down here, huh? Oh, there's five buttons in here. Oh, this is like the... I'm going to figure out um, where the Incredibles are. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Turn it off. Now what? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. See the railing. Was it over? Yes. He had won. Huh. He had defeated I beat it? I beat the game. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. I Freedom beat him. was mere moments away. I beat the game. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? Oh, no. How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But I want to find out too. Streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him, for it was not none of it. knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Dude, I had happiness. His goal had not been oh. to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to no, do, at all, or how to feel. Not even the voice in my head. Lives, it will be his, and that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon oh. his skin, the feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, really? right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Really? I beat the game. I got the achievement. I beat it. The end is never the end, though. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go Ooh. to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed... Welcome to the whiteboard ending! We got the whiteboard ending. Is that it? Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office. Well, I'm trying. It didn't make a well, I got the whiteboard ending right there. Did it advance the story in any way? I'm just trying to figure out. Oh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. <clears throat> Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, it still, it still has the broom closet to his boss's boarded up. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Can I go other places now, like the bathroom? Oh, I could go into the bathroom now? To be rich, is it a crime? To commit crimes, isn't it rich? What a life it would be to have to pick just one. Extreme bathrooms. Okay. Oh. 
Oh. Oh, an elevator. Can I use it? I'm gonna go up, down, down, up. Um, let's go up. Uh. We're going up, boys. Clintons be like. Yeah, how's it going, shall we? Didn't even move. What if I go down? I don't know what you'd call this game. I mean, I did get I did get jump scared once, but I've been playing for like. Hour and forty minutes. Okay. It. Okay. Well, there's that. It doesn't do anything. The messages on the phones. Stepping into his code. manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Stanley was in Same such code. a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have <laughs> a single minute to just let the narrator talk. What do you mean? That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments what? with some calming New Age music. I just wanted to... I've already been through this, narrator. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated. You Stan still have to wait. <laughs> forward into the opened passageway. You still have to wait. Like the same amount of time. That's funny. Didn't even uh, do the thing. Catch a vibe! Maybe I used to aim for the nine! It's broken. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind, Mind Control Facility. facility. Get some B roll. Um, yeah, let's keep going. Let's uh, let's try, let's try uh, turning the machine on. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What uh -huh. horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Uh -huh. Did he have the strength to find out? Can I really not jump off anywhere? I, I I keep trying to jump to my death, and it doesn't let me like anywhere in this entire game. 
kind of annoying, I guess. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature revealed. Each oh, 427 right there. Employee in the building. I know my name. I know my uh, The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Catch a vibe. Baby, are you staying for the night? You guys know that song? I really can't jump off anywhere? I feel like this, this, literally this room is like asking me to jump off. But I can't find a way to facility. It was find a place to do it. Believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the reason he was happy with his boring job? That his wow. emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Guys, I don't want to alarm you. He refused. But an ad is starting in three he minutes. He couldn't accept it. His own life is someone else's control. Never. So once it, it starts, unthinkable. I'm not even. Gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna impossible. say. Had he truly anything for the whole life ad? Utterly blind to the world. Okay. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality... Oh, yeah, see? Stanley Shelby does. ...that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he... Is it still the same numbers? ...the controls once and for all. One, two, four, five, three... No, guys. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was. He would. <laughs> Stand me. You didn't just activate the controls, did. did you? Yeah. After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control yep. of the machine for yourself. Yeah. Is that what you wanted? Control. Yeah. yeah. This whole time. I applaud your effort, I really do. What? But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. Really? You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, Why? and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, huh? and I believe you'll find this... It's loading the mic control symptoms. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. What? In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification... Well, how am I supposed to get it? Set ...to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your uh, time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much. What do I do? What I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time. Do five for three, two, one. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments? What, what do I? What do I press? More time. I'm gonna go down. You. About me. I'm gonna go five, four, three, two, one. What all this means? I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. Okay. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. Erased the machine. I set you free. Really? Of course. That was merely in this instance of the story. Oh, there's a door here. I tell it. I simply oh. let you sit um. there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. Oh, the big button. There's a big button. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away. What's the password? Rich. I almost uh, to see it go. Uh, 
but I'm sure but whatever I come up with on I don't have a zero, dude. Will be even better. There is no zero. My goodness. Um, 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this. Well, I don't know what you, you know what? To hell with it. What's the code? I'm going to put some extra time on the clock, why not? What's These the are precious additional seconds, Stanley? Time doesn't Yeah, but I don't know what am I supposed to press? Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea? Do I just do one, two, three, four, five? Right now. I don't. Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of minus the zeros? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Yeah. Everything, anything, something here will say. Yeah. Why would you think that, Stanley? Well, it's this here. Game can be beaten. Yeah. Solved. Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? No. <laughs> Stand. Wait. You're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking really? to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment what? that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. <laughs> you wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. What? Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? 15 seconds. Another choice. Make it count, or don't. It's all the same to me, all a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. What? What am I supposed to say? One, four, two, one? One, four, two, one? Was there a one, four, two, one? I just saw zero, four, two, one. And then zero, five, two, one, right? Or was there a one, four, two, one? On the wall, there was a one four two one, huh? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance okay. from others. Okay, sure. so the thought of uh, oh, I didn't think of maybe I could just to him. Oh, there it is. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. What? It didn't, uh... Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Huh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah. I feel like I already went... I probably did all the endings to the right, I think. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, the room closed Stanley forever. To go up to his boss's coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, yep. blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad, Stanley pushes yeah. some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Oh, he opened it for me. Kill surprise. What does that mean? Stanley walks straight ahead through the large door that you think we could figure it out control facility Can we do the self-destructing again I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about it while I I'm gonna go this way although this passageway had the word escape written on it the truth was that at the end of this hall Stanley would meet his violent death really Is it just an electricity these lights don't seem very stable. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. That's pretty far, though. 
I already, I already went Stanley was pretty far. A conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Is this my death? Oh. Is that my death? Moving. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, uh, that his life had been of no consequence wait. whatsoever. Stanley can't see the wait. picture. He doesn't know the real Wait, 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 wait. No. In his narrow vision of what this is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss. Don't tell me the code from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Well, Stanley. What? Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator. As really? Stanley was led helplessly into the oh! jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated. As no, I'm right here. Every bone in his body. No, I'm right here. Him instantly. No, I'm right here. But oh shit! What? I thought I was gonna die. I was trying to do the punisher meme a little bit. Oh my god. Hold on, let me get let me get some good uh, B roll for for this real quick. And yet, it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? All right, I got it. Hell yeah. That's cool. That's a cool B-roll. Wait, can I go over here? Can I go over here? Is this just one big room? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. What is this? Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from really? the moment he hit start? I've been dead the whole time? Dude, the office! Dude, that's my computer. Oh, look, it's uh, the office layout. This blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and alternate and altered throughout development through the core layout, though the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. It's my office. And then those are like where I check the computers first. And then I check these computers. And then I go out here. But this is 416 right here. The pacing of this corridor section was important to get right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in a good time. Wow. And then and then I and then you come here. And then I went through this door, even though it said to go through this door. The two doors. The set of the two the set of two open doors was the very first concrete piece of the Stanley Parables design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it, an exploration of the contradiction this room posed. Oh, this is like uh, one of the desks. Button sounds. A selection of the sounds used throughout the game when buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of a keyboard stroke and a synthesized tone. Wow. 
Filing cabinets. Office computers. These are the credits. <coughs> What's in here? The office. The maintenance room. An early version of the maintenance room. Wait, I never saw this. Where's this? Or is that the room that you come down in the elevator from? <gasps> Warzone! Oh my god, they predicted Warzone. In a early development, we, de we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. The action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realized shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. Well then why'd you call it Warzone? Alien base awesome. Larger words, words, words. Am I going crazy? Maybe it isn't the same image. Was that clock there before? I don't remember. How do I go back? Can you check for me? More endings, fewer endings, more narrators, fewer narrators, more Stanley, less Stanley. Greenlight. In September 2012, we submitted the Stanley Parable to Greenlight, Valve's process of approving games for Steam. The Greenlight page had only a series of cryptic photos, which were still enough to win the community's approval. The point of the stereo, the point of the Stanley Parable HD Remix is to lose. The point of the Stanley Parable HD Remix is to win. These are screenshots of the Stanley Parable HD Remix. What's in here? Will the game feature capybaras? I didn't see any. Wong Young, urgent response needed. Please, I would like you to keep this proposal as top secret and delete it if you are not interested and get back to me if you are interested for details as regards to... How do you make a JRPG? How do you make the worst game ever? What is the difference between a duck? Narrator emails. The lounge. This, that was a good place. The apartment timer. In a previous version of the choice leading to the apartment ending, a timer would give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone would lead to a different ending. And then they didn't make it? Huh. Is this... Wait, what? Oh yeah, okay. Meeting room. Uh so has this, let's see. One option. One doorway to maintenance in the lounge. Two. Two options. Two doorways to maintenance. The other entrance would be hidden depending on how you entered. One option. One doorway to maintenance in the lounge and the original back on track option. Two confusion ending. To confusion ending entrance confusion ending event what about this the flow of the hallways following the first two doors was important to get right since players will replay them so many times we discussed a number of designs but ultimately it was the simplest version that won out did I ever go to the maintenance room it might be in might be in trollolo old. What's this? Zending model. The zending vent. Through many iterations, this room represents the fourth version of the ending, and we thought it was complete, but decided to abandon and change it again shortly before launch. Zending levers. These levers were originally part of the zending. The player would pull a lever, and the narrator would describe what lever they had pulled. Color lever they pulled. 
What is this? Screenshot depicts an early version of the ending known as the Zending, which was eventually cut and merged with another part of the game. Oh, there is no Zending. Well, there's the exit. Monitor room elevator. For a time, the elevator in the monitor room could go up or down, with freedom above and countdown below. We abandoned this when players found it too difficult to remember what way was what was up and what was down, and placed the two endings together instead. An early version of the countdown room. The freedom ending. As it existed in beta, huh? Countdown desk. One of the desks from an early version of the countdown ending. Oh, these are pretty cool monitors. Freedom ending. This was the very first incarnation of the freedom ending in the game's alpha. Someone's talking. I heard voices. Office clock. Boss's office. Okay. I heard something over here, though. Underground, an early access of the underground portion of the game. Oh, I don't know. How about they're throwing a surprise party for him for all his button pushing? Does that sound cool? Kavan Brighting, the voice of the narrator, recorded dialogue for the entire game roughly three separate times over the two years of development. These are clips from early takes that were not used for in the final game. That's pretty cool. <laughs> did we explore everything? No, we didn't come over here, did we? Oh, uh, okay. We did. If we would have went this way, we would have seen the exit super quick. Did I go this way? No. Game design mock up. I didn't come up here. Dude! That's my office! That's a another version of the office. From left to right, the evolution of Stanley's office over time. The first was created in November 11, 2011, the second in March 2012, and the third in February 2013. So it was like that, and like this, which is similar to how it is, and then like this. Nice. Less bright. Less bright. So we do we leave now? <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Do we? Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Huh. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Just so click. Listen to me. You can stop what? You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. I won't. Oh. Wait, I died anyway. 